This weekend, my husband and I are jetting off for a fabulous getaway in Las Vegas, Nevada. And after driving four hours through the dusty Mojave Desert and stopping at our favorite little burger joint, we arrive in Nevada's famous City of Lights. Nothing beats the excitement and pulse of Las Vegas, from the clinking sounds of the slot machines to the flashing neon lights on the Strip. We're only here for two days, so we can't possibly take everything in, but hopefully I can share some tips that will make your next visit worthwhile. Most big name Las Vegas hotels are located along Las Vegas Boulevard between Tropicana and Sahara Avenues. If money is no object, check into the Wynn, a $2.7 billion resort with some of the most luxurious touches in town. Its sister property, Encore, is equally fabulous, and both have more five-star ratings than any other casino resort in the world. For cheap Las Vegas hotels, it's best to stay off the Strip. We're staying at the Orleans, a hidden gem off Tropicana that offers some amazing Las Vegas deals. And after trying our luck on the slots, we hit the casino's sushi bar for dinner. By day, Vegas takes on a whole new vibe, sort of like a Disneyland for grown-ups. <laughs> Head to the top of the stratosphere, the tallest observation tower in the west, ride the Manhattan Express roller coaster at New York, New York, or take in the Dolphin Show at Mirage. Other Las Vegas attractions include the MGM Lion Exhibit, the Welcome to Las Vegas sign, and the Mirage Volcanoes, which erupt every 15 minutes from dusk till midnight. To get around town quickly, take the Las Vegas monorail. It has seven stations along the Strip, beginning at the MGM Grand and ending at the Sahara, where you can still find $1 blackjack tables. To avoid pickpockets, always keep your cash and credit cards in your front pocket or keep your bag really close to your body. We're starting our Saturday morning with a beautiful wedding at Paris Las Vegas, followed by a lovely lunch at Mon Ami Gabi. And after a few glasses of wine and some terrific French cuisine, we hit the town. For a spectacular bird's eye view of Las Vegas, right at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Climbing 50 stories above the Strip, the experience is offered both day and night. In fact, you can even get married up here. One of our favorite free Las Vegas attractions is the Fountains of Bellagio Water Show, which begins every half hour during the day and every 15 minutes at night. For the best views, grab a seat at one of the restaurants along the lake, then finish with a gelato and a peek inside Bellagio's conservatory and botanical gardens. For a romantic outing, board a gondola for a cruise through the Venetian Grand Canals. The Venetian has authentically recreated every nuance of Italian life, from the high-end boutiques at the Grand Canal shops to the faithful recreation of St. Mark's Square. Las Vegas is busy on pretty much every holiday, so if you want to avoid the crowds, come the week before Christmas. You'll be rewarded with some of the cheapest room rates of the year. When you're ready to party, take in the Las Vegas nightlife on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas, or hit the Las Vegas club circuit. Hot spots are always changing, but you can't go wrong at Trist, a 12,000 square foot nightclub with its own 90 foot waterfall and sultry vibe. 